What's going on guys? Today I'm going to bring you a video on how to flash and tune your Audi S3, Golf R, A3, or GTI. So let's get right into it. So I used a Cobb access port for this. Um, I know there's several ways to do this, but I went through EQT tuning and bought the access port with their preloaded maps on it. All right, so excuse the rain noise, but this is the car we'll be using it on. This is a 2015 Audi S3. All right, guys, once you're in the car and you have your Cobb access port ready, all you got to do is hook up the cable for OBD2, which is right here. You're going to want to plug that into your um, port down there and then turn the car into auxiliary mode like this. And then your Cobb access port should start up. So when you first load up the access port, if you ever use one, it's the same thing. You got your gauges, all this stuff, troubleshooting. So we're going to go to tune right here. And as you can see, we have DSG tuning, which is also an option for the access port. You could get one with no DSG tuning, which is a lot cheaper, but I highly recommend it. So if you want to change your ECU map, click ECU map. And then right here, we have all the maps. Here's the Cobb map, stage 01, 193. And then up top, you see the e EQT map that I bought separately and got loaded onto this device. All you have to do is click it and leave your car in auxiliary mode like this. I recommend hooking up a battery charger to the battery when your car is doing this because it will take about 15 minutes flashing and you do not want your battery to die. But it's as simple as that to flash the engine and uh, very simple. For the transmission, it's a little bit different. For the transmission, you go to change DSG map. When you first get this device, if you want to flash EQT, you cannot do it. You have to flash a Cobb map or like a stock map or whatever, because when this flashes your transmission, it gets the serial code that your transmission has in it. And then with that serial code, you email it to EQT. They will send you the EQT tune specifically for your transmission, and then you could upload it. And it's the same thing. Once you get it, all you have to do is through the email, upload it onto your device through the USB cable that they provide with you. Um, very simple right there, EQT DSG stage one. And then it's the same thing as the engine. You could just click it. It will flash it. It takes about 10 minutes and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. Um, on the gauges and stuff, you could check everything out. I think I believe I peak at around 27 pounds of boost right now. I think stock is like 18. So very big difference. And I got to say th this car feels incredibly faster. It's not like a, a minor change. Like honestly, MHD stage one on a 335i like my other car. Stage one to stage nothing, well, stock. It's it's a good change, but it's a little bit. This car really wakes it up. This thing feels like stage two plus on MHD, like going from stock to EQT stage one. It rips. It feels like it'd make 350, 375 wheel horsepower. Um, I've timed it, go zero to 60 in like high three seconds, and it, it rips pretty good. I'll throw in a couple videos right here. But this was just a, a quick, simple how to flash EQT and Cobb tunes on your Audi, GTI, Golf R, whatever you need. It's fairly simple. It's pretty much the same thing as like a Subaru. Um, like I said, though, I would definitely go for the EQT package. They definitely have some good deals to include everything like the DSG tune and the DSG or the engine tune through EQT. I believe I got this whole access port with the tunes for $1,400 which isn't terrible when you look at the big picture that it's a very good company with good tuning uh, capabilities and your car will run good. So another thing that's really cool about the uh, EQT tune with the DSG tune is I've actually noticed I've been getting a little bit better gas mileage, not anything crazy. When I'm just driving around in comfort going to work every day, um, I do see about one more MPG than I used to. I think it's just because the shifts are a lot quicker and uh, it's more efficient and it won't be doing as much stuff to lug the engine or do any weird stuff. The EQT DSG tune is definitely the most recommended thing I gotta say from this. It really changes the DSG and makes it feel like an Audi R8 per se, I guess. When you're shifting the gears, it is instant once you get that tune. So definitely do that, especially if you're making any more power, you don't wanna slip your clutches or do any weird stuff. So if you're gonna go for a power package, I highly recommend getting the Cobb with the DSG tune and uh, hope you guys have a great day. That's pretty much all for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like 
and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one for maybe some launches accelerations or whatnot let me know what you guys want Thank you.